I'm Dylan Clinton, I'm a welder. My name is Jeff Samer. From uh, CA Hall out in Wald Lake, Michigan. We do bridge work all around the state. And day to day we basically just fabricate everything we need for the field. Uh, sometimes we get sent out for steel repairs and miscellaneous other projects. Just happy to be here. My name is Michael Dietrich. Been here seven years, blasting every day. It's a blast day, pretty much. Come into work, we have our safety meetings, and we stretch as a team, and then we come back in here, and we get back to what we were doing, either whether it's welding, carpentry work, mechanic work, anything that needs to be done around here, we get it done. A lot of grinding, a lot of dust, uh, a lot of welding fumes, and this thing comes in pretty much pretty handy over here. I love it. It's a lot better than like a average welding helmet because the fumes will just seep up into your, your hood and you're smelling it all day and you get a soot cough that eventually gets worse and worse. And I developed it and now with this it's actually helping with it and actually reducing the fumes so it's working a lot better than a regular hood. I like the helmet. It's, it's really comfortable throughout the day and it's nice in the summertime because uh, you know it keeps it pretty cool. During winter, keep it on hot. When you get started getting hot, start sweating, turn it to cold. I like not having to wear anything attached to my face. You're kind of in your own little bubble, you know, and the grinding dust and everything, it doesn't even get all over you. It keeps everything away. It's, it's great. Nova 3, it's comfortable. Shields are great. I love the tearaways. That's the only ones I use. It's not, that way I don't have to shut off during production time. I had a, a regular auto uh, fixed shade lens. I've been using that for like three years and I moved up to an auto darkening lens, but it's the same thing because I'm still getting the fumes of everything I'm welding, whether it's galvanized, lead, it's getting into my body and staying there. So it's not what'll kill you right now, it's what'll kill you 50 years down the line when you're trying to play with your grandkids. So you got to take every measure you can now to ensure your safety in the future. Yeah, you know, I see a lot of people uh, with a lot of respiratory problems in their mid 50s and whatnot and they didn't necessarily have all the stuff like this back then so I'm curious to see what this really does for us and it, it, I really take it pretty seriously and that's why I like this. Every time I go home I just feel 100% better because I know that I don't have fumes in my body. Clean air is the best air so especially when you're inside there it's dusty. If you can't smell it you just got good air in there it's great. Well, I, I like to work on my car a lot. Going hunting, particularly working on the truck. I'm, I'm welding, grinding, working with grease all day, and I need protection there too, so I bring what I get from here home and protect myself there too. I like to do a lot of hunting and fishing. I like to go dirt bike riding and play ice hockey and stuff like that. Being outside, even though I work outside all day, I'm still outside when I get home, so that don't bother me. Some of those things you kind of have to be in a little bit of shape for, so it's nice having lungs to do it. 